Hey, welcome back to my shop, everyone. Important announcement. Our family is growing and growing fast. Announcing the addition of the Delta Table Saw 36979. Just to give you an idea of where we are in the shop, there's the garage door over there. Band saw, drill press, lathe, table saw, woodworking, metalworking. Alright. Right here. This has been bothering me for a while. This is a <laughs> 2 horsepower, which I, I doubt it, 400 to 2000 RPM, variable speed, craftsman, uh, lathe. I don't do any outboard turning on it. I just do in uh, handles. Uh, it excels at making crappy things less crappy. Uh, I mean, you could take a mediocre piece of wood, looking wood, and make something interesting, and then give it to someone and have them throw it away for Christmas. What are we looking at here? We are looking at something that I threw together ad hoc. Uh, this frame was actually made for something completely different. It was my first stab at a wood. Um, uh, a wood holder to, uh, for scrap pieces of plywood and whatnot, but I scrapped the idea and I built this like two years ago when we first moved in and it was kind of like just at, put together ad hoc. I mean you can look at these legs are just uh, glued and nailed in on the sides kind of after the fact and uh, these are bridle joints or sorry half lap joints going across here uh, in these corners and then just plywood connecting the two. So the conundrum is this uh, not only has our family grown by a table saw, uh, it's also grown by a sander and two grinders. So I'd like to keep these near uh, the dust collection, which is right there. And given that I don't do a lot of turning, I feel like I'll do more sanding and grinding. So what I'd like to do is make this lower and then devise a shelf up above that'll hold the grinder and sander up in here. So this whole thing will move down, still keep some storage underneath. So what I'm thinking is, first thing I'll do is just knock off these legs in the corners, and that'll get me seven inches of space back, and that'll drop to the floor. And then I'll kind of assess and see. Where, so I think the top of this will be about here. So we'll do that real quick and see what So here's what I'm suggesting. We build a shelf for the Ryobi sander here. And we make it a French cleat. So a French cleat attaches to this uh, two by four here. And then our shelf hangs on the French cleat. Gravity pushes it up against the block wall. And it's ju there's just enough space to clear this. So I can move this back as far as I want, still turn and operate it. And that'll be the sander here and maybe one of the grinders here and then I think I'll have to do a separate one here for one more of the grinders uh, so I think we, we're gonna build two shelves one for here and one for here
It looks like there's a hair out of here. But maybe we'll try. Okay, maybe. Well, there you are, all done. Two shelves. Um, so I went back on my word ever so slightly and decided I would make a two position. I didn't, it was hard to access um, this wheel when it was over in this corner, so I made two hangers. So if I ever need to get at this, I simply lift this up and move it over there and now access. So if you got anything out of this, uh, leave a thumbs up, appreciate it, subscribe. Um, yeah, we pretty much just do this all the time. Well, not all the time, but ah, I fiddle in the shop, it's what I do. Learning for the sake of learning is its own reward. Alright, talk to you later, fellas, and ladies.